What is going on my friends? It is currently 7.30 a.m. on a Tuesday and it is delivery day of Bobby's new car. This car was supposed to come in about a, about five days ago, last Friday. It was supposed to be the delivery day and it's been a huge pain in the ass all the way up until now. A lot of things I'm disappointed with with this transport company. But I'm just lucky the car finally made it to Spokane. Hopefully it's all in one piece. Let's head to the shop. I just got Bobby awake and let her know that they just called me. So let's go meet up with this transport company that shipped Bobby's car all the way from Missouri to Washington. How's it going? Good, you? Good, man. Good. Um, <laughs> what was I gonna say? What do you want this car? Um, uh, probably just right in front for now. Right in front. I'll throw it in the shop later on. But so the car wasn't started at all or anything? Um, uh, not that I know of. I know a driver was like, you can't start this thing, so yeah. we had to push it off. Okay. So we gotta obviously get a payment before we unload. I don't know if you know the drill. Um. Are, have you been talking to Tanner? He has my card on file. He said he's oh, just gonna charge the card. Me, somebody said so. I don't know. Well, shall yeah, we? You guys, are, you have a YouTube channel. Yeah, huh? yeah. I saw your, your video. Oh really? Yeah. Oh yeah. You're into lens revolutions, huh? Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> I love Evos. I have quite a few of these things. Let me just. Um, like this in your car. <laughs> I'm not, I'm just making sure it's fucked up from getting shit. There's three wheels. I'm so excited. Well, you're missing a wheel, I believe, and this is in the trunk. For some reason he wants a quick picture of a car and a customer. All right. <laughs> uh, I guess who's paying for it, I don't know. Yeah. So that way he doesn't pay and the car's not here. I don't know. Yeah, all right. Unload, ah, uh, take off the uh, fender. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it looks not fucked up. Those are some meats though. That right there is, it. that's how you know she's got, she makes the jam. Dad, I'm so excited. You like the trunk? Yeah, I do. You're not happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I guess we'll just throw it there for now. And then I'll have to come back later and rearrange the shop. Looks pretty damn clean. Well, it looks like a full-on race car. Fatty tires, wingless. What's up with the hole right there? Uh, looks like an air scoop. Uh, you like it? I have to like it. Maybe That's a sick trailer. Maybe it's something like that. Frills. Damn. That's exactly what I need. For How the hell is that set up? Just a good old tilt trailer. Yeah, that'd be nice. I might take those tires. For oh. <laughs> what? For one of my fast boy cars. Yeah, you can. That shit's busting. You like it? Yeah, I, I like, I want to start cleaning it and stuff. <laughs> and I want to start, we don't even have any parts for it right now. I know, I have a head gasket. Do you know where the fourth wheel is that was on the inside? Yep, straight box, fine. Hey, what's up? Hey, so there should be, uh, there should be one in the trunk. One in the trunk? And then two in the, yeah, underneath, like, the, uh, the carpet, I'm pretty sure that's where, the, uh, the guy helped me put it. Oh, okay, that's from the shop. And then there's two in the back seat and one in the driver's seat. Gotcha. The Perfect. I didn't see that one in the trunk. I thought it was just a spare, but cool. Yeah. Yeah, she just showed up. So, cool, man. I mean, everything looks fine. fine. Yeah, I don't okay. see anything like body damage wise that could have happened in transport. Good. Yeah, I mean, shit pisses me off. They got it off the truck. Oh my there. God, dude, yeah. I mean, as long as it's fine, I don't know what they're thinking. But. Yeah, I'm not really sure, but yeah, I guess as long as, I mean, it looks fine. So I'm just hoping they didn't try okay, to fire good. it up and do any internal engine damage if they, yeah. if they try to start I it. Mean, the, 
the batter the shot anyways. So okay. That would have been, you know, an issue as it is. So. Yeah. Perfect. Awesome. Thank Enjoy you. Enjoy it. We'll do. Bye. See you. Guys. Yeah. Bye. Just Tanner got the payment all taken care of. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> awesome. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, thank you. So I told you guys, I am not buying any more Evos for a while, and I didn't. Bobby finally got her freaking black Evo 10. And let me tell you boys, this thing is built built. Now you guys think my 10's built or my 8's built? This is built built. Let's go interview Bobby real quick on her recent purchase. All right, what's up? So what are you doing? To do. What are you doing here? I don't know. I honestly don't know. You stand in front of your car. Okay. Your new car. Okay. Look at both your cars now. You're big balling. So what's up? I've always wanted an Evo 10, a uh, black one. I've owned one before, the red rose. And I said I I wanted another Evo, but if I owned another one, it had to be a black Evo 10. And this one came along and it was like the perfect deal. So, I don't know. I have an obsession with Evos like Devin. Let me show you what she means by the perfect deal. Let's go, just go ahead and pop the hood. Ooh, watch there be no motor in it. Y'all ready for this? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I see carbon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy oh. shit. <laughs> God damn. She built built. She's really, really built. Okay. Where do we even begin? Where do we where do we start with this setup? Do you wanna explain like the build? Here, point out some cool things that you like. Okay, we got a massive, massive turbo. How big? Really big. I think it made I think it was like eight twenty dino jet. And so my Evo 8 made 740 at Dinojet. So this thing's got an extra 100 wheel over my Evo 8. So when I said this is the fastest car that we're gonna own, for now it's gonna be the fastest car on the channel. Um, Do you like the perp? You keeping the purple? I'm pretty sure I saw the, the fuel set up in the back. Yeah. The fuel pump. It's so freaking massive. The surge tank and whatnot? Yeah. yeah. Are you gonna keep it built built? Sadly, no. Because well, maybe for now. Maybe I mean, for a little bit. when we get it all fixed, then yeah, for a little bit, maybe put it plop around the dyno. And then do a couple hits. Do a couple hits and then change it because I, I do want this to be kind of like a daily. I don't really want it to be a race car. You already have a daily. That's not really a daily either. That's like in between. She wants two dailies. She just wants to daily everything. I mean, if it was me, I'd keep her as is. Maybe a little more spicy of a setup. Wait, where's it? Oh, it's already popped. Yeah, so that's your, you have a, a fuel pump, okay, in your fuel tank, mm -hmm. like a regular car, and it pumps fuel into there, that would be a surge tank. Okay. And then you have two 450s in there. Damn. <laughs> Which, technically you don't need, so we can put like the stock trunk back in this thing if you want, like later down the road. Yeah. And I'll take all this cool shit for my, one of my cars. How, I'm so curious <laughs> to see like all the comments. We have seven Evos now. But, okay, this is why I thought you guys would be mad when I said that because obviously it's another Evo. Some people get pissed that we have so many Evos. You know, they can cry. I know, some part of me wishes it, it was like something else, but you know. Nothing compares to an Evo, <laughs> let's, just, let's, so. let's be honest. Yeah, exterior wise, this thing is dummy clean. I was super worried that it got a little bit messed up in transport because this car came on obviously like a, what would you call it, like a car stacker and we paid extra money because we did not want this car moved at all. It does have a lifted head, so we're gonna, we gotta fix that. Um, I didn't want the car started, I didn't want it touched, I didn't want it moved. So they put it at the very back of the, the stacker and then for some odd reason they put it on that random flatbed that you guys saw. I think I was hauling ass. So yeah, it kind of annoyed me, but at least it showed up. Looks like it showed up in good condition. And this thing is ready to party. Now I'll be a Evo owner and a STI owner. You're kind of taking after me over here. The best of both worlds. 
So which one do you like better? Are you keeping both? Like you gotta let people know what's going on. No, I'm keeping both. I'm not getting rid, rid of Gary. What about your F8? What about what about the WRX? WRX is going back out to the field. All right, I'm sure you guys are curious of the entire setup on this car. Honestly, I don't really know. I'm gonna grab my phone with the mod list and let's run through everything done. The build list is as follows. I'll just show you a picture. She's sleeved. Garden sleeves, I believe. So 4,000 miles on the engine build. The car only has what, like 75K mm -hmm. miles? Pretty low miles. Built and sleeve two liter driven fab turbo kit with the EFR 9174. Pretty big. Calford 214s, plus one valves. Built trans from Shep, quartermaster twin disc. It's already on flex. Uh, radium surge tank with dual 450s. And it's tuned on a factory ECU. Jeez. Previous motor, which was a 2.2 liter. So I think this is the third motor they had in the car. I don't know why they kept blowing motors. A little bit sus. Um, previous motor with the same turbo on 42 pounds made 830 wheel. Isn't this like a two point? This is a two. Oh, it I was thought a, they changed it. It was a two. It was a two o. Then they went two two. And then back to a two o. Oh, a sleep two o. So, yeah. Um, motors ready to handle anything that we want to throw at it as soon as I fix it. it. He was ripping it, doing a data log, and apparently lifted it ahead. I hope that's all that's wrong with it. I don't really know. Bobby got a pretty damn good deal on it, in my opinion, for the I build. Did. Still expensive. Still a lot of money, but for the build, like this thing's got. 30k minimum endure. So I don't know when I'm gonna have time to work on it because we're still working on Jared's car and I still have the gray 10 to fix. Damn it. Damn I know. This was supposed to show up like a week ago and that, this would have came before the gray 10. Yeah. Well, I'm super stoked for this thing. Good job, Bobby. Proud Thanks. of you and all your hard work. Thank you. You're a big baller now. Yes. Now you just need five more Evos and then <laughs> we, can, we can have an Evo family. And I ain't gonna lie, this is well, get, probably one of the cleaner cars that we got. This thing is damn clean. Should we wash it real quick? Um, it might freeze, but I kinda, no, kinda no. I don't want to wash it. No, baby, I'm gonna save that for another day. Detailing day. All right. Damn. Those freaking meats. Good old Mickey Thompson. All right, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the new car. I know, another Evo, but you can't you can't say nothing. It ain't mine. If you don't like it, you have to yell at Bobby. But this thing's dummy clean and it, it makes the sauce. Built trans, built motor, complete fuel system, black, five speed. It's not an SSS, which is the only downfall, but really not a big deal. So drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Super excited to get this thing in the shop, get on the lift, pull the motor out, pop the head off, make sure the bottom is good to go. Um, it should be, I think. And then, yeah, from there, we'll be, we'll be hauling ass together. Bobby's gonna have two built cars, which is pretty nuts. When I met Bobby, she drove a Honda Civic. Now she's got an STI and an Evo 10. Pretty sick. Yeah.